Hey, board gamers, BJ from Board Game Gumbo here, back in the Gumbo Pot, this time with an unboxing of Wicked and Wise by designer Pertessa Elise and published by Weird Giraffe Games. Here's a shout out we're going to give once we open up this box. You might recognize the name from the Gumbo. Let's get right to that Game Top Brazil LLC table and see what's inside this box. I want to thank Weird Giraffe Games for sending us this. We've actually played Wicked and Wise at the Gumbo Game Nights in Anubis uh, way back when. This is designed by Pertessa Elise and also with gorgeous artwork from Beth Sobel. So that was one of the things that caught our eye. And some graphic design and development work from DJ Bell. So this is a card game and it is uh, for two to six players. It takes 45 to 75 minutes. Remember the, the hook of this game. It's a trick-taking game with partners where one partner plays the mouse, one partner plays the dragon, and each one of them has asymmetrical abilities. I mean, they just don't play the same at all. But uh, the mouse is kind of feeding the dragon to make those big turns. And I remember it being really crunchy, really thinking for such a small little card box game. I've never gotten, I, I didn't get a chance to see how the uh, production came out. We played a, a prototype copy, so I'm excited to see what this looks like. So here's the rule book. It talks about the game objective. You're working with your team to gain more coins than the other team. Hey, it's dragons, right? Board of, uh, of coins that they're trying to do. Uh, during the game, you can gain coins by meeting your chosen goals, using certain treasures, and using s certain card abilities. It's a trick-taking game, and they are going to explain how it's played. There's the dragon roll, the mouse roll, or you can play as both the mouse and a dragon if it's just if you're playing just two players. There is a learn to play video, so you can check that out right there. Okay, here's the I like the graphic design. It shows you all the different uh, cards, and it's got nice little arrows pointing out all the different things to learn about about all the different components. Got the game set up. Um, how many cards are going to be drawn? How you choose your goals. Start of the, at the start of the game, the dragons are going to draw the gold cards, and they're going to choose which goals to secretly pass to their mice. And then the mice are going to choose which of the goals to keep. So the dragons know which ones have been passed to the mice, but they're not exactly sure which one the mouse has chosen. And then the mice all reveal their chosen goals simultaneously, then announce their chosen goal. Okay. So... A little example of how to play with four players. I like that. A oh, little background about Pertessa. You can see. Nice summary of how the trick-taking section works. And uh, the, the different roles. And if you only have two players, you're playing with two dragons. And then each player has a separate team with a shared mouse hand. And then all the way up to six. Now you've got three dragons and three mice. The dragon roll is great for first time players, while the mouse roll is better suited for players familiar with trick taking. That's the other, that's the other cool thing about this game. You can kind of introduce the trick taking mechanic by having the new player be the dragon and you take on the mouse if you are more familiar with it. It's a nice little illustration of how the game is set up. All right, now we're diving into the, the game. It's a small box game, so there's not a lot to unbox, but we'll get through it. These are different dragon coins. Oh, look at this. Very nicely done. These punch out super nice. These are the big tin, tin coins. Don't remember what this is for. That is first player marker, maybe? Gem token. Okay. Gem token. And so it's got tens, fives, and ones. So we'll punch all those out in a little while. Oh, there's even more coins. We've got some twos also. Little small twos. Okay. Now the heart of the game. <clears throat> We've got a bunch of decks of cards. Let's get through. Well, I'll look at this dragon first real quick. And the dragon is for... That is the lead token. Okay, so if you know anything about trick-taking, you know the lead is uh, the, the card that's first played and then everybody has to... Generally speaking, in trick-taking games, you have to follow. Some games are... Uh, you know, you don't have to follow, but most of them have a must-follow chunky thick wooden dragon that is gorgeous using that um i think it's silk screened yeah 
using that art from uh, from Beth Sobel. All right, so we got the different. Oh, I like this part. This is a nice little reminder about what you can say and what you can't say. Table talk this game. Your team can only talk about your cards while choosing your goals. This game, your team can only talk about your cards when not choosing your goals. Okay, little reminders there, depending on what's being played. Oh, had it. I messed it up. Sorry about that. I like it when companies have those little gold bands to make it easy. These are the different M cards. Dragon cards, I guess. Yeah. These are the mouse goals. Win two or more tricks. And if you do, so that's for two teams when you're playing two on two. Or when you're playing two versus two versus two, you'll use this one and you'll get eight coins. All right. Oh, we got some more. Take a look. Oh, isn't that nice when it's so easy to just pop off? Why is it crazy when it's, when it's hard? Look how many different goal cards there are. There are tons. I mean, you can play this game a bunch and, and never see the same goals. Collect at least one of each card suit, including the gym. Collect three, four, or eight red cards. Okay. Collect three, four, or eight plus star cards. Collect more of that symbol cards than an opponent. Win four or five tricks. If you've played bidding trick games like Parts or things like that, then you're familiar with that. All right, and the last one is all of the, these, this is the heart of the game where you're gonna actually, not the heart, but I mean, these are the cards that you're gonna be using. And that's those dragon cards that we looked at a little earlier. So the different suits going from one all the way up to 15. Look at that artwork, that's just stunning. One all the way up to 15 in the green with the stars. So if you have trouble with, Color, they do have the little symbols for the suits. And then these are the blue roses. One all the way up to 15. And as you can see, the cards themselves have different powers when you're playing them. So swap one card with or gain two, swap one card with the dragon or gain two cards. Swap one card with the dragon or draw one gem or draw two basic cards. So maybe sometimes you wanna play the lower card so that way you can get that special power. Whereas the 15 is look at the top three gems or basic cards and rearrange them. And then we've got the purples going all the way up to 15. And that, I mean, that is just gorgeous artwork. Some more of these gem cards. I think I've covered it all. They've got some extra bags. Oh, tons of extra bags. That always comes in handy. It's a small box game, Wicked and Wise, but don't let that fool you. There's a lot of game in here. I remember being really impressed when we had our plays that uh, that, that it's crunchy, it's thinky, it's, it feels very satisfying when you and your partner pull off getting the goals that the, that the mouse has chosen. So I remember really enjoying Wicked and Wise, and I, I love the way the production has come out. It's, it's a gorgeous looking game. I can't wait to play it. Thanks to Word Your App Games for sending us this review copy. Hopefully we can get that stream pretty soon. Check out twitch.tv slash... Board Game Gumbo, where we play your games live on Tuesday nights, right there on Twitch. Or check out Gumbo Live on uh, the rever the opposite Tuesdays, when we'll be interviewing some people. We're hoping to get Carla Cop actually on this season, so it'll be nice to visit with Carla again. And until next time, laissez les bon temps relais.